So very soon, we come across the very first of the Saturn-Uranus squares. There will be two more this year, one happening in June, uh, and then one happening in December. And then after that, they're going to stay really close to each other, and the nodes will get involved. The nodes will conjunct Uranus and square, Uran uh, square Saturn as well. So this really does represent the first step of what we can really call a two-year period. <sighs> Saturn and Uranus coming together does represent where the, the known parameters of our mind, what's conditioned, what's safe, what we can say is defined. This represents the known past, and it doesn't necessarily represent what is healthy or good. It's just what's known. It's the known. This is how things work out. These are the terrible ways in which things will unfold. These are the things that happen in my life. It's whatever is conditioned. And most of us are carrying around an imprint, an unprocessed imprint of the past, not aware that we project this into the present moment constantly. And so we miss the truth of what's happening now. And further, we will prove the story in our mind because reality will continually seem to prove it to us but it is our own perception and it is the way in which our conditioned thinking will always lead to conform everything in our reality to itself I mean, it's very hard to present a reality to any mind where that mind is certain about what is. It's very hard to present something new. It's seeing in a very particular way. It's established. It's like a grove in the record. And so this Uranus Saturn square is what is is pushing against the known. And the parameters of our safety and our security are trying to expand into a greater threshold. So cultivating our higher, our higher mind, our higher, higher mind, our clear seeing, our uh, neutral observation of what is, cultivating a greater awareness of the archetypal unfolding that's an inherently impersonal collective evolution is really important simultaneous to meeting the constructs and the definitions and the boxes that we are so that we value so much this first square can really represent the opening it's like an initiation of this phase <laughs> thank you so it can feel like there's a lot of change and the insecurity of not knowing where it's going. So there's a blessing and an invitation in this for just a lot of restfulness and peace. And um, to understand that we're just in like a little, a little wedge <laughs> of a greater unfolding. From the perspective of time, it can feel dense, it can feel heavy, and that's just the Saturn dimension. From the perspective of creation and the intelligence of creation and the fractal of reality that's manifesting and sort of the greater, the greater truth of what's going on, it just is. It just is. And who we really are is just who we are. The nature of reality is the nature of reality. So we can use this time to cultivate and to practice. We can use this time to recognize there is a training of the mind happening. That's it, Saturn, the mind, our conditioned thoughts. And Uranus, it's elevating. It's cultivating a greater bird's eye view of reality. So we're not taking things as personally. So we can really work on our consciousness at this time. Yeah. All right. So wishing us a lot of ease and peace and restfulness during these phases. <laughs>